Hello everybody and welcome to some more Fight a Subscriber, where a subscriber has sent me a craft and I throw it through a gauntlet of my own fighters, which you can see here. Before we get right into it, I've just got a quick apology. Uh, at the uh, start of last week's video, I didn't mention that the uh, the XF1 Gladius was by Kelvus Manos. My apologies for that, but um, with that out of the way, let's go and meet today's fighter. This then is the F55 XF Imperator by Kaizen65, and I am really looking forward to seeing this in action today. Those of you who watched the last season of Fighter Subscriber may well remember the F54 Kaiser, which ended up coming third in the finals. Um, when this was first sent to me, it was described as basically being that craft but with Saturns attached, which pretty much tells you everything you need to know about this craft, although uh, it has undergone some tweaking since then. Kaizen is, of course, a veteran of these uh, YouTube dogfight competitions, and its craft are always solid performers, so uh, I'm very interested to see how his new improved craft stacks up against my new improved lineup. Before we get into the murderous mayhem, there is just the small matter of a quick test flight, and this craft is effortlessly manoeuvrable. Uh, it does lose quite a bit of speed in the turns, even with those, uh, those two Saturn engines going full blast, but... Uh, I don't know, I get the funny feeling that's not going to be too much of a hindrance to this craft today. So looking good so far for the Imperator then, but uh, ultimately this is all just speculation. Uh, let's get into some fighting. So we commence the action with the F-55 Imperator going up against my more unusual fighter, the Clubtail. Let's get this one started. <laughs> So nearly at that 8km mark, and the fight starts. Both sets of craft turning around hard to get away their missiles. The F-55s do that very quickly. And now just gaining a little bit of the speed they lost. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> Jebediah Kerman just releases an Amram onto his wing and then just <laughs> flips it off. Oh dear. I'm not sure that would be, uh, be an very advisable move in real life. I don't think the club tells have gotten their missiles away. And that is bad news for them because uh, of course it's going to make them heavier just carrying more missiles and mm, looks like they have managed to get a volley away now though. Uh, Jebediah Kerman having to break low to dodge. Yeah that missile coming. It looks like it'll go well past Jebediah's tail. Another one going in front of him. I'm not sure who that was meant for. Yeah the uh the yeah, F-55's kind of on the back foot now. Very manoeuvrable craft, and without those extra missiles, though, they will be... Um, should have the extra edge in dodging uh, dodging that incoming volley. Uh, interestingly, uh, when uh, when Kaizen was sending me the F-55, he did say he, ha he had another craft lined up and ready to go, but he did just want to see. That is one of the club tails gone. Hit by an AMRAM, I think it was. So it is now an advantage to the F-55s. Yeah, as I was saying, Kaizen was saying, he does have another craft ready to go. He just wanted to see what would happen if he did basically put Saturns on the uh, the F-54 Kaiser. So this is uh, this is that experiment there. With staying with the wrong fight, as one of the club tails gets, sorry, one of the other Imperators gets destroyed, followed by the Imperator we were just following there and. Daffy Kerman, all on Daffy Kerman. Look, if that Sidewinder can find its mark, which it looks like it can, it looks like that was some heavy damage on that other club tile. In fact, yes, turned to debris. This Imperator missing one of its uh, tail fins, but otherwise appears to be in good health. Should still be a bit of a match for that club tail, although if that is a Sidewinder incoming, it looks as though it went well wide. Daffy Kerman in some trouble now. Doesn't seem to be missing too many control surfaces. Ah! Now being stripped of control surfaces. Stripped of a weapon. It's not a weapon. What am I talking about? Stripped of an engine. <laughs> now being stripped of more stuff. Daffy Kerman. No. No lateral stability now at all. Both of those tail fins gone. Just trying to get it under control with that one engine and it doesn't look like it's going to work. Where's the club tail gone? Coming in. The Imperator now a sitting duck, although the club tail can't make it count. Rowena Kerman. In an undamaged club tail so far. Daffy Kerman. Might Daffy Kerman be able to regain some semblance of control? Oh, a sidewinder at that range would be very good, but Daffy Kerman has no missiles. 
and Rowena Kerman finishes her off. And all Daphne can do now is to try and glide not too destructively into the ground. Although it looks like Rowena Kerman has uh, has other ideas, has another plan lined up for her. So yes, a, a surprise result in that first one. But uh, we should move on to the next fight as um, as Daphne Kerman comes down somewhat successfully into the ocean. So a closely fought battle ultimately turns against the Imperators in that first fight and uh, I'm sure they're hoping to do much better in this next fight against my Panthers to try and cement some chance of getting through to this season's final. Let's see how they get on. And after a little bit of faffing about and a little bit of bugging out, this competition starts. Um, I didn't think that was going to happen for a second, I thought I might have to reload, but no, we do eventually get it working. The Imperators get their first volley of missiles away, following it up with a second one. It doesn't look like the Panthers have managed it. The Panthers are the least manoeuvrable of my three craft currently on the roster. The, uh, the uh, Imperators following it in with yet more missiles set up to fire four per target. And they just keep going. Now with the Sidewinders, as they, uh, they close in, that craft is getting awfully close, and that's not going to be good news for that Panther if it does hit. It flies in, it doesn't look like it has though. Jebediah launches another Sidewinder. Doesn't look like that'll do the trick either, but uh, yet more. Jebediah piling them into that closest Panther. And one of them must surely hit, and one of them does, reducing the Panther to just smithereens. So the Imperators would have wanted an improvement in this second fight, and it looks like they are getting it. Jebediah Kerman now launching yet more Sidewinders, this time at this uh, this Panther over here. Let's see if we can find it. Yup. Shawnee Kerman launching countermeasures, trying to launch those uh, flares to good effect so far. But uh, yeah, looks like he's got the attention of two Imperators on him at the moment. This other Panther... Rowena Kerman has been taken out. Looks like she was involved in a bit of one-on-one -on -one with one of the other um, one of the other imperators and has come off definitely the worst one from it as she uh, she heads towards the ground. Oh! But she doesn't even get to do that. And the other panther has been taken out just as I was talking. It is it is a clean sweep from the Imperator. That is more like it. That is more like what I was expecting from these initial two craft. But, um, well, now they go up against some tougher opposition. So a brutally efficient performance there from the Imperators against the Panthers. But now we move on to my own next generation of craft, my Red Hawks. This is going to be very interesting. Let's get them into the air. And the final round begins. Jebediah Kerman pulls around hard to start launching the missiles. I'll say this about this season of Fighter Subscriber, and I think the preliminary round is helped. These fights are a lot shorter than they than they have been sort of last season or the season before. Uh, I just think it's um, where obviously we've gotten we've got proven killers in the competition now, which which helps a lot. So. Um, I think if my own craft don't uh, don't don't win the round, the uh, their opponents are going to do it in pretty short order. Anyway, how are we doing? The craft getting on to about six kilometres away from each other. The Imperators still just pounding my own craft with missiles. It's an interesting tactic that uh, four missiles per target approach. I'm not sure what I think about it. Uh, launching, starting to launch the sidewinders. That may be a little close to start that. But we'll have to see. No, no casualties amongst the Red Hawks so far. They appear to be dodging quite nicely. Jebediah does have a missile incoming now, though. We'll have to break hard to try and uh, try and dodge that. I can't see which one it is. Where's that coming from? Oh, I didn't see where that came from, but <laughs> Jebediah certainly felt it. Missiles going back and forth. Jebediah is out of the fight. Daffy Kerman. Jebediah's wingman will be hoping to get some pretty quick revenge. 
That is one of the Imperators. I assume that's... Is that the same one crashing into the ground? That is the same one crashing into the ground. I think it might have got hit by another missile. Richmal Kerman. Having to pull hard about. Will the Imperators be able to pull anything out of this? How are the Red Hawks? Are they all in good working order? They seem to be. Shawnee Kerman now coming in. Launches in a Sidewinder. That is a very dangerous range for the Sidewinders. Oh my god, that Imperator is just obliterated under a hail of missiles. And now it's Daffy Kerman, the last survivor of the F-55s, breaking low over the KSC. Pulls up. The Red Hawk gives up temporarily. I assume it uh, reached its altitude floor, but uh, yeah, Daffy Kerman having to pull some evasive manoeuvres. Getting close to the ground. That gunfire is getting very close, though. Having to pop some countermeasures, the missile is coming in from the other Red Hawks. <laughs> and it finds its mark as well. As to what remains of... If I can find it. Oh, one of the Red Hawks is gone. As what remains of the... Uh, no, I can't find... I can't find the, remin the remnants of the... Um, of the Imperator, but I think we're going to count this as uh, going to count this as a kill for the uh, count this as a kill for the um, the F fifty fives, just because it it seems to have been taken out before uh, before the last Imperator was killed. So anyway, yes, the Red Hawks are victorious in this last round, though they do take a casualty. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on and see uh, see what the final score is then. So three interesting and, as I mentioned, quite short fights there. The the Imperator was maybe a little unlucky against my Club Hawks. Absolutely smashed the Panthers before coming unstuck against my Red Hawks. Uh, I do like this craft. I liked the uh, F-54 Kaiser and uh, I'm fond of this. It's uh, its latest incarnation. Uh, if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with six kills and three survivors, the F-55 Imperator has managed to rack up a total of nine points, putting it third on the current leaderboard. And uh, we're starting to get a better idea of how this season is going to go and whether the uh, the Gladius's result was a bit of an anomaly, but um, well, we're not quite there yet. A massive thank you to Kaizen65 for this craft and, uh, well, to all of you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, maybe getting involved with the Discord. Um, well, it's up to you. I'm not your mother. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.